Coming up next on Auto Show TV, Victoria's busy. She's at Elmwood to check out the roomy and powerful Dodge Durango. And she presents Anchor Subaru's 2015 WRX STI and goes for a test drive. Plus, I discuss safe driving with Colonel O'Donnell, superintendent of the Rhode Island State Police. We see how a former car dealership has been turned into a ginormous coffee shop. And we have some great deals at Ted's Auto Sales. All that and more next on Auto Show TV. Hey, grab a couple more. Yeah. Oh, you me in the middle of the post. It's Auto Show TV. Good morning. Welcome to Auto Show TV this morning. I'm John Coletto. We're coming to you today from Elmwood Auto Group on Route 44 in East Providence. If you're thinking anything Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, or Ram, this is the place to come. Elmwood Auto Group, they're an auto intelligence recommended dealer. Now, if you're thinking about a new vehicle for your family, if you have a growing family, you need more room, you want to upgrade your ride, Victoria Moran is inside with a great suggestion for you. This morning on Auto Show TV, we take a look at an SUV that's perfect for large families on the go. It's one of the mid-size SUV class leaders, so let's find out why. Auto Intelligence presents the 2014 Dodge Durango. The Dodge Durango is similar in some ways to its cousin, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, but there are notable differences. So let's get the full walk around here at Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence, Auto Show TV's Dodge experts. Dennis. I love the Grand Cherokee. Is it possible for me to love the Durango too? It is, and you're gonna love the new Durango. Since 2011, there's been some uh, major improvements in both the engine, transmission, and styling. You know that this is a Dodge Durango when it's coming down the street, and it doesn't blend in with all the other mid-size to large SUVs out there. And the Dodge Durango gets mid to high 20s for gas mileage. It achieves that uh, great gas mileage by pairing the 8-speed automatic transmission with the new Pentastop V6 motor. The Dodge Durango is loaded with safety features and a lot of the uh, top-of-the-line safety features that you'd find in high-end luxury cars such as forward collision warning and adaptive cruise control. Making our way to the side of the vehicle, this vehicle also has lane departure warning where it will sense if you're drifting out of your lane. And there are a lot of other safety features as well that are hidden in the vehicle. This vehicle is equipped with side impact beams. There's uh, steel beams inside the doors to help protect from side intrusions. There are front and rear crumple zones in the vehicle. There's actually breakaway motor mounts on the engine where in a frontal crash the engine mounts will break away and that way none of the components will come up through the floorboards possibly injuring any of the occupants inside. The hood has pressure points on it that will actually bend rather than stay straight and come to the windshield possibly injuring inside occupants. Now the Durango comes in either a six passenger or seven passenger. With the seven passenger the middle seat will be a bench seat and with the six passenger it'll be bucket seats. Now with the bucket seats you can simply walk through the middle or with both the buckets and the bench they both tip and fold. Pull and pull and that gives you full access to the back of the vehicle. Now the Durango is equipped with keyless enter and go, which means this key fob never has to leave your pocket or pocket book. It'll actually sense that the key fob is within a certain proximity of the vehicle. But before we do that, I just want to hit the unlock button and show you one of the unique styling cues on the Durango. It's the LED rear track light system, uh, which a lot of people go crazy over. So let's open up the rear lift gate, press the button on the key fob twice, a warning chime will sound letting you know that the vehicle is opening. It also does that when it's closing. Now in the back of the vehicle you have plenty of storage space. By simply pulling this lever you can fold these seats down. It's a 50-50 split folding seat. You can fold down one side or both depending on how much cargo space you need. So again let's close this up. Quick push of the button on the inside here. Again, it'll beep three times to let you know it's closing, and it will close. It'll now, it also has, right. I'll notice if it that's hits right. my arm, great. It has one of the most sensitive obstacle detection systems in its class. As soon as it senses an object in the way, it'll retract uh, into the open position. Let's go ahead and power this uh, Durango up. Now, this vehicle has a built-in vehicle information center in the center of the cluster there and that is controlled by these arrows up, down, left and right. 
This will tell you how much gas you can travel uh, with what you have left in the tank. This will tell you time elapsed odometer. This is where you also turn on your adaptive cruise control. And the three settings for that are also located in the vehicle information center. On the right hand side is your standard cruise control settings as well as your distance settings where you actually set them into place and it is as easy as set it and forget it. If a vehicle again moves in front of you it'll slow you down once that vehicle moves into the opposite lane it'll speed you back up and keep you cruising at the preset speed. Uh, moving our way down to the radio this radio is more uh, is more of a computer than a radio it has a 40 gigabyte hard drive built in and you can do a ton of cool features. The satellite radio, which is free for one year, um, you can actually pause, play, rewind, and fast forward live music. Some of the other cool features here, the con uh, controls as far as your heated seat controls, ventilated seat controls, heated steering wheel are all located uh, here at the touch of a button. Below that is your auxiliary output, your USB output, and your SD card uh, holder. This has an electronic shifter here, which uh, kind of gives you a, a seamless center console. Everything's nice and streamlined, um, and it just gives you more room in the center here. Now let's just talk a minute about the four-wheel drive system. The Durango comes with a full-time four-wheel drive system, which requires no driver input. It senses wheel slippage. It senses uh, the intended path of the driver and the actual path of the vehicle and I'll actually apply brake pressure to the inside and outside of the wheels to help compensate and, and maintain control. So what'd you think? I'm impressed, I loved it. There's a lot to love. Four wheel drive, seven passenger, plenty of room, and great fuel economy for this size vehicle. Again, mid to high 20s on the highway. So I'd like to personally invite all of my customers come to come down to Elmwood Auto Group for the big finish sales event, get a great deal. Here's Auto Show TV's news and notes. Root Awakenings has just opened a new location on Route 2 in Warwick. Owner Dave Levesque's fifth coffee, pastry, and sandwich shop is located inside what was the former location of Jake Kaplan Land Rover. Well, the, the, the vision started when we were actually shopping for a vehicle for my wife, and uh, we ended up in the Jake Kaplan Jaguar dealership in a Range Rover building, and uh, my wife was out test driving a Range Rover, and uh, while she was doing that, I ended up speaking to Elaine Kaplan, and she kind of said, hey, you should open up a coffee shop in the Range Rover building. And I'm thinking she meant combined with the Range Rover dealership, and I'm like, nah, we need a big facility in order to do it. You know, something grand that's impressive. And at that point, she said, the building's empty. There's just cars around. There's nothing in it. So we grabbed the key, we trucked on up here, and walked in, and I just looked around and said, oh my God, the bones are unbelievable. We gotta make this happen. So we got a sister on the line and uh, pretty much wrote the deal up and uh, about a year and a half later uh, we opened up the largest coffee shop in the country. Also Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence has received good news on the 2015 Chrysler 200. The newly redesigned midsize sedan has earned a five-star overall safety rating from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Chrysler 200 safety features include full speed forward collision warning using camera and radar technologies. The sedan has also been named a Top Safety Pick Plus from the IIHS. That's Auto Show TV's News and Notes. Next up, Victoria goes for a ride at Anger Subaru. You're watching Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new used and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good, but maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. We're here at Riccardi's Italian Restaurant in Fairhaven. People love all our Italian dishes made the authentic Italian way. But what they don't realize is that here in Fairhaven, we're also noted for our seafood. Our scallops come right off the boat. We have salmon salad, lobster fettuccine, little necks over linguine. We have fresh haddock, canned seared scallops, lobster salad. 
We're Riccati's Italian restaurant, but folks also love our seafood. Come on in, we'd love to cook for you. Hey, Jeff here at Village Motors with exciting news. We have over 100 vehicles in stock, all competitively priced and come with an additional five year, 100,000 mile warranty. Here's an example. Purchase this Toyota Solaro with 76,000 miles and you'll have coverage till 2018 or 176,000 miles. So hurry down, pick your vehicle and add an additional five years and 100,000 miles to its current mileage. So visit us and experience why we have become Rhode Island's largest certified pre-owned dealer. Village Motors, a higher standard in pre-owned vehicles. So how do I describe nostalgic and more? Well, we're definitely unique. That's why we say we're your not-so-general store. We carry classic rock and roll t-shirts, incense candles and oils, collectible vinyl record albums, nostalgic tin signs, work gloves, even Daytona motorcycle helmets, and lots of hard-to-find and rare treasures. Check our website for specials, nostalgic and more, celebrating our 20th anniversary in Attleboro. We're fun, energetic, and unique, just like our customers. This morning, we visit Anchor Subaru to have some fun. Today, Auto Intelligence checks out the sporty, redesigned 2015 Subaru WRX STI. Subaru dares you to find another four-cylinder vehicle that's this much fun to drive. The STI model is the even more sporty and powerful sister of the Subaru WRX. The STI comes with symmetrical all-wheel drive, a 2.5-liter turbo four-cylinder with an incredibly fun-to-drive standard six-speed manual transmission. The WRX STI gets high marks for its safety, comes with an array of driver technology like Bluetooth, heated side mirrors, and dual-zone climate control. And don't forget the unmistakable rear spoiler and classic STI design. Sean, we have the STI here today. Why don't you tell us about the redesign? Victoria, good morning. I'd love to. Before I get there, I want to tell you a little bit about the history of the STI. It started in 2004 and they've come a long way ever since. New for 2015, we have the newly redesigned BBS Sport wheels. We've got the LED headlights. These are really cool. First time in the STI, first time in the WRX. They do come in the WRX, which is again the sister of the STI, only in the limited models. The STI is standard with the LED lights that actually light up besides the headlight itself, which is kind of cool at night. So for the new redesign, along with the LED headlights, we also have the LED taillights. Really nice and impressive. We also redesigned the spoiler, which is our signature spoiler for the STI. It comes on all STI models. It has a really aggressive front look, just like past years. In 2004, all the way to now, they've had the wing on the back and the really aggressive front end with the scoop on the front hood. This scoop right here is to cool down the turbo for the intercooler, which is mounted on the top of the engine, which we'll get to a little bit later. On the front of the car, it's got a really aggressive stance with the front bumper being a lot wider. Okay, so they widened the wheelbase of the car, which gives it much better handling. Lift up that hood for me. It's nice and light. Is it? Oh, very light. So the 2.5 liter horizontal design Subaru Boxer engine has the intercooler directly on top and the turbo on the side, which again is similar to past years. Sean, is there any way that we can take this for a test drive? Victoria, I'm glad you asked because today I have a surprise for you. We're actually going to take this car for a test drive and we're going to find out the bells and whistles inside the car. But more importantly, we're going to enjoy the power of the car and the handling. And that's why everybody is interested in this particular model. Past years, the WRX STI was strictly a race car. Didn't have the amenities, a nice radio, heated seats, climate controls, dual climate controls in the limited moonroof. So they've added all that for 2015. The real part that's impressive on this car is the handling, the power, and the comfort of the car. Okay, so the STI has always had the handling and the power, but now we have redesigned the chassis to make it a lot more stiff through those corners, which is what most people in the STI are looking for. Down here, Victoria, you have the control for the transmission and for the power of the car. This is very uh, useful in this car, and it's been since 2006. Basically, you can control the transmission and the power of the car with just the press of a button. So you have Sport, Sport Sharp, and Intelligent Mode, and a really, really on-point all-wheel drive. You can also press this button here for Auto and Manual. You can lock the all-wheel drive from 50% to the front, 50% to the rear. You can also take and put 70% to the rear and 30% to the front, which makes it almost a rear-wheel drive car. Gives you a lot more torque, which gives you that thrust feeling of shooting back in your seat, which is what everybody buys this car for. Exactly. So on the highway, we're doing about 70 miles an hour right now. It's a very stable car. It's a lot more quiet, again, than it was in past years. It's more comfortable. Definitely. 
I like the seats that I feel like they're they are almost hugging me for when we go around you know the curves at high speeds. It's race inspired seats they are carried over again from year to year but they do refine them and make them a little bit more comfortable every year. For the first time ever this car has a power seat on the driver's side which a lot of people have been begging for over the years. So you get the full power seat on the driver's only the passenger will be a manual. This is a limited, so it does come with the leather interior, which also has the heated seats. Very nice. We speed and down the road and nice and toasty too. <laughs> so in a couple of minutes here, we're gonna have some fun. There is a ramp that we're gonna be using today to show you the handling of the car. We're not gonna take it at excessive high speeds, but what we're gonna show you is that the car doesn't have a lot of body roll. It doesn't really flex from side to side like past years. Past years, it was the suspension was dialed in on point, but they did have a little bit of feeling that you were kind of swaying backwards and forwards. That was the whole point of designing this particular chassis because you don't feel that anymore. Great. It grips to the road really well between the really wide tires, the all-wheel drive, and the new design of the chassis. This car handles like it's on rails. It's really impressive. All right, Victoria, you ready to have some fun? I'm ready, let's do it. So as you can tell, the car handles really, really well. And as we bring it back to the curve, it doesn't have that feeling that you're gonna throw yourself from side to side. Right, it, it really grips and hugs the road. That's right. I like it. <laughs> so Victoria, what'd you think? It was great, everything you said it would be. Great handling and great performance. Well, I'm really glad you enjoyed, enjoyed the test drive. This is one of my favorite cars. I have owned three previously before and I absolutely love them. This is the new 2015 Subaru WRX STI. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I did, thank you again for today. Hey, it's Johnny Mac, and today we're here at Sound Effects with Eddie Soares, and we're talking about car starters. You have an array of them behind us. The temperatures are getting colder. Tell us more about them. Yeah, also let me show you about the, uh, all the different starters that we have and our process for qualifying a customer based on which one that they need for their car. Um, every car could take a uh, different type of starter. Normally we start out with a one button for most vehicles. Nice and simple, it's the entry level package. Uh, and then if you need a little bit more range, we have options that, like this CompuStar remote that would tell you that the car has started. So it'll send a signal out and receive a signal back. And then if you need extreme range, we have options where you can start it from your smartphone. So that way you can be anywhere. As long as you have cell service, you'll be able to start your car and know that it's on. John, let's go out back and I'll show you a typical installation of one of the most popular cars we do. Uh, what happens first is the car comes into the bay, it gets checked out for any prior, uh, previous issues, and then we have an installer come in, prep the vehicle to get ready for a uh, technician to come in and install the remote start. First he takes the basic body panels off and then the technician comes in and he actually installs and uses all 3M grade connections to combine the remote start to your new vehicle. So John, here's a uh, typical layout before they start the job. This is your remote starter before, right when it comes out of the box and normally what we'll do is the technician will use his tools and the wire diagram that we provide and he'll turn the starter into this nice prepped unit before it even goes into the car. This allows us to be able to remove it and install it in your next vehicle, because every technician here is trained to do this the exact same way on every starter. How long is the time they need to leave their vehicle here? We usually ask that you leave the car here for the whole day, just because we're normally doing 20 to 30 cars a day. Wow. If you need to, we can always set up a service time for you to wait with the car. Eddie, that was really cool, showing us the process how these remote starters get installed. You can get these installed in both locations, East Providence and here in West Warwick. You can visit you on the web, correct? Yep, you can visit us at uh, www.soundfxonline.com. Eddie, thanks for having us here again. No problem, thank you. Thanks, Pete. All right, I'm gonna press the button once, give the car a couple of seconds, and it's gonna start right up. Still to come, keeping Rhode Island roadways safe. You're watching Auto Show TV. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? 
Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. Whether it's a dazzling diamond engagement ring, a heartfelt gift, or something for yourself, come to Hanoos Jewelers in Warwick. We carry all the new styles, the most popular brands, and a superb selection of loose diamonds and wedding bands. Grooms-to-be trust Hanoos Jewelers in Warwick for our expertise and their peace of mind, because we know you may need some help making just the right selection. Come see why the perfect marriage proposal starts with a spectacular diamond from Hanoos Jewelers, Route 2 in Warwick. If you'd like more information about any of the dealers and deals you've seen on today's show or would like to view previous episodes of Auto Show TV, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. Struggling with sleep apnea? Absolute Respiratory Care can help. We are owned and operated by two respiratory therapists. They each are actively taking part in the business every day. We have a team approach. Whether it's our team here at the office working together, working with them, working with the patient. Absolute Respiratory Care carries a wide variety of CPAP masks and the latest sleep therapy technology. We take pride in going above and beyond for our patients. For a better night's sleep, choose Absolute Respiratory Care. If you've been in an accident, you need your car fixed quickly and hassle-free, and more importantly, repaired to pre-accident condition. Auto Intelligence provides a list of five-star recommended collision repair shops in Rhode Island and Southeastern Mass. These shops utilize the latest technology and industry standards and adhere to our strict code of ethics and business practices. They have earned a place on our recommended list. Automotive information, research, and recommendations. Find it all at autointelligence.org. Now, Auto Show TV's Driving Safety, presented by the Law Office of Attorney Lawrence Signori. I'm Attorney Larry Signori. Please, let's all work together to keep Rhode Island roadways safe. Well, this familiar face is Colonel Stephen O'Donnell, the superintendent of the Rhode Island State Police. Colonel, what are you seeing these days as being the, the most disturbing to you in terms of uh, Rhode Islanders and their driving? There's several. Um, most of it is the aggressive manner that they operate, weaving in and out of traffic without using directionals speed and texting while driving. Those three are at least the minimum of the driving habits that we see. Let me ask you about, in Rhode Island it's against a lot of text and drive. How hard is that law to enforce? It's got to be tough. It is. We enforce it, but it's difficult. Um, what I mean by that is troopers will have to see the violation. They pull up and see someone texting. Sometimes the defense is they're dialing that number. In order to prove texting, you might have to get a, um, a subpoena to pull their records to see if they were texting, and that's time consuming. It's not a typical, it's more like a criminal investigation. So we're looking at that as a first step. The Attorney General and the state police and DOT are really on top of that, trying to create new legislation, maybe hands-free. So it's crystal clear you're taking some type of device that distracts you out of your hands. Cars are probably safer than they've ever been. Are you seeing now that uh, lives are being saved and there are less fatalities because of technology? Uh, we'd like to think yes. I think there's a multi-tiered approach to fatals from working again with Department of Transportation, law enforcement around the state, and messaging it. Also the legislative leaders have sent a clear message by legislation passing. Our fatality rate has subsided quite a bit because of technology. The second piece is seatbelts. If people aren't getting ejected from their vehicle, there's a really good chance they're not going to get hurt really bad or die. How about teens? Teen driving. You know, teens think that they're invincible and that bad things happen to other people. How are we doing in educating the kids? It's a great point. I think the Attorney General has taken a lead with this agency and the Department of Transportation. Troopers, they periodically show up at high schools. They've trained over 9,000 high school students about exactly that. But the more they hear it, and they don't just hear it from people in uniform, there are times we go in suits and ties, try and really dumb it down to them. They live in the world today. The best chance of you dying as a teenager between 16 and 25 years old is in a car. Distracted driving can be deadly. You're 23 times more likely to be involved in an accident while texting and driving. Don't become another statistic. I'm attorney Larry Signori. Don't text and drive.
Well, folks, it's getting to that time of year. If you're thinking your vehicle may not last another winter and you're thinking about a pre-owned vehicle, then you might want to come here to Ted's Auto Sales on Route 6 in Somerset. This is an auto intelligence recommended used car dealership. So we want to turn things over to our used car companion, Mark Mannion. Thanks, John. Hey, excited about another show. I just want to take a moment to thank the viewers, our regular customers, for uh, making October a great month. And as always, a lot of the vehicles we present are not here anymore. So we want to thank you again for that. And uh, let's get started. First one we have to show you this week, affordable, quiet, efficient 2012 Mitsubishi Galant ES. This one has a 2.4 four-cylinder all-world engine, very reliable engine, excellent fuel economy, only 69,000 miles, automatic alloy wheels. This week's special, only 10,995. The 2009 Hyundai Santa Fe in the dark slate. You're looking for the entry level, front wheel drive in the four cylinder. This one's not for you. This is the V6, all wheel drive, fully serviced, seating for five. On special this week, only 13,995. They go out almost as fast as they come in. This one just in on Saturday, 2008. Toyota RAV4 four-wheel drive. Everyone knows the reliability and the popularity. Limited version being leather, interior heated seats, moonroof, and premium audio with the JBL speakers. Alloy wheel, seating for five. This week's special, only 13,995. Just in, 2007, Jeep Liberty Sport, four-wheel drive, second to none, on the fly, command track, four-wheel drive system. Independent front suspension. 58,000 one-owner miles, looking for your next SUV that won't break the bank for the winter. That's an absolute bulldog in the snow. 10,995 this week at Ted's Auto. So where are the late model, low mileage trucks that just came in in trade that won't break the bank? 2011 GMC Sierra Super Crew Cab with the side steps, soft tonneau cover, only 42,000 miles and still under factory warranty. Seating for five, it's on special this week, only $19,995. Looking for the awesome heavy duty truck that won't break the bank for the winter. Here it is, 2006 GMC Sierra extended cab, four wheel drive work truck. We sold close to 60% last month of trucks. Huge truck month, we're continuing that trend this month. Won't break the bank, only $11,995 comes fully serviced here at Ted's Auto, come get it. Thanks for tuning in to our segment on Auto Show TV. Again, my name is Mark. If you have any questions on the vehicles I've presented here today, 508-677-9517 or at tedsautosalesinc.com. Remember, we have full service, an excellent sales staff. We're glad to help you. Thank you very much. Well, that'll wrap up today's Auto Show TV. If you have any questions about the Dodge Durango, would like to take it for a test drive, come on down here to Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence. And if you missed any of the show today, what do they do, Victoria? Visit our website, theautoshow.tv. Have a safe week on the roads, everybody. Don't drink and drive, and don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.